A local refugee from Liberia is giving back to her home country. And while the woman has lived in the United States since 2004, the family that she left back in Africa has never left her mind. And today, she sent a care package of epic proportions across the world. WSLS 10's Allison Wickline brings us the exclusive story. This shipping container is on a journey from Roanoke to Liberia to help one local woman's family have a better life. What you say you're trying to do? You won't do one, right? It's moving day at Priscilla Conway's house. These mattresses and this minivan are taking quite the trip, thousands of miles over land and sea. Their destination is Liberia, Priscilla's former home, a home she had to flee when war broke out in the 90s. We were escaping and my husband got killed. And uh, I lost some of my children, but I was able to go to, to the Ivory Coast. Priscilla and her four children came to Roanoke in the early 2000s. In 2013, she ventured back to her village in Africa. She was shocked to see the way her brother and extended family were living. And we stayed there, we sleep on the floor, but it was just a little place. So when I came back, I started collecting mattresses. I saw the beautiful mattresses <laughs> always on the street. You see, people throw them, they throw goods. Since 2013, Priscilla has been on the lookout for mattresses, furniture, toys, anything she could find that would help her faraway family feel more at home. I want to help, you know, the condition they were in so they can have bed to sleep on. The kids can have something to play with, you know, they can have shoes and clothes. This container holding nearly 60 mattresses, a minivan, and TVs will cost Priscilla about $7,000 to ship. She's covering that by working two jobs and saving every penny. A woman sending her love many miles away, no matter the cost. I am overjoyed. I don't even know how to explain it. Yesterday, I told my friends at work, I was dancing and... <laughs> In about a month, Priscilla will fly to Africa to be with her family when the shipping container arrives. In Roanoke, Allison Wickline, WSLS 10.